So I've pretty much finished my hot rod alien ship. May add a few little minor details here and there, but uh, I think she's pretty well done. You see the fluorescent base. And it's got blue LEDs for the engine lighting underneath. Of course, you can see my cord running. Sorry about that. Uh, the hull was, uh, was done in masked off and done in candy purple. And then shot over with uh, some flake. Clear coated. And there's my little alien in the cockpit. I can take the bubble off so you get a little clearer view. Uh, my alien was made out of Sculpey. Um, the cabs I got off at Amazon for the eyes. I used the kit decals uh, after modifying the hull. Used the kit decals to make some little computer screens and components around the perimeter of the inside. Got a little resin cast rat fink that my buddy Chuck did for me in there. And then the dash is just a complement of uh, small shift knobs, that type of thing. Uh, Got a few little scale car magazines laying on the floor. An empty box of Dunkin' Donuts, um, thanks to a gift of many little diorama pieces from a new friend, James Stein, that I met on Facebook last year. And uh, the dashboard, there's some leopard print on the dash that is actually uh, that material. Uh, it's from my buddy, Sonny De Palma along with a lot of the ideas that came from this build. This is kind of a tribute to him. And we got a resin skull shifter on an aluminum shift rod. And then the interior is just a bunch of little doodads. There's some more magazines on the dash and some shifters that I made and just some little jeweled stones. There's a skull with a red flashing light in it. And the hull uh, came this way as far as the transparent part of it. It's uh, semi-transparent. Uh, I did the light kit for it along with uh, one that I did for my buddy Chuck Darnell. He's also built one of these, which is really cool. His has got sound and everything, so he pretty much killed me on this build. But uh, these were fun. This was just something I just kind of dreamed up to do. And... Uh, as I said, my, my buddy Sonny De Palma was a big inspiration for this. He did many of these little alien crafts in his career before he passed away. And I uh, could never match his work, but it was fun doing it. The base is uh, plexiglass, um, which is obviously iridescent. The, uh, the blue um, LEDs uh, under the hull are fluorescing that. Of course, it, it fluoresces a lot, just a natural light, but the blue really helps. <clears throat> um, anyway, that's this build. Pretty much done. I've got a few more little bits and pieces I'm going to add to the interior, but for the most part, it's finished. So that'll be the first thing I actually finish uh, for the new year. But I've done most of this. I've been working on this off and on for the last three or four months, and... Uh, Got some hurricane delays and that type of thing, but uh, finally got it done. So I'm pretty happy with it. And it's big. I think the whole diameter is 16 inches, I believe. Uh, this is an Area 51 ship, I think, from Polar Lights. And uh, I hacked it up, cut it up. These bubbles uh, I got off of Amazon. They're Christmas ornaments, two-piece Christmas ornaments. This is one half of it. Made the perfect little bubble top for the project, and they were cheap. I got a huge box of them now, so I can make some more of these when I want to, or make myself some red Fink Christmas ornaments. But there you have it. The Alien Hot Rod for uh, first build, finished build, for 2023. Thanks for watching.